Hello, hello, what's going on everybody? Phoenix61 here in another World of Warships Legends videos. We are rocking the Jaeger Bomb tonight. So this was, what was this? This was a campaign ship a couple of campaigns back, right? So um, I was excited for it because it's a destroyer. I, I mean, I like playing destroyers, but I pretty much play everything, right? But this is kind of a destroyer's dream, right? There's a lot of battleships in this game and only one cruiser on the enemy team, right? So we've got, we've got things to do, ships to kill. So you get 12, what is this? Yeah, th four times three, right, on torpedo launchers. <laughs> so 12 torpedoes and then a pretty good reload, plus a reload, like two reload boosters, right? Um, the... There's a balance, though. Like, the, right, the torpedoes are kind of garbage for torpedoes, right? So, um, but yeah, well, so we'll go in and press forward, and I, like, when I spawn on this side, you, you know, on in this position, right, on the, the southern side of the map, I'm a huge fan of just dumping torpedoes up this sort of alleyway up here. Um, so I'm going to even use the reload booster um, here so that we can send a solid 24... <laughs> torps up there and then the guns are basically garbage um, and the AA is basically non-existent and you don't get a smoke screen right so there's that there's all of those things to this ship as well we're getting radar so I figured I'd try and help shoot some bullets at this Akatsuki right um, and then by the time hopefully radar will end soon and then we should have some land in between us and these enemies so hopefully we go unspotted here. But yeah, as you can see, my luck paid off, right? We got four torpedo hits shooting up that alleyway. Six, up to six now. <laughs> Seven, there goes another one. But, you know, it took, um, oh, now 11. <laughs> Still counting, I guess. <laughs> so that gave us uh, 75 grand there. But yeah, like I said, yeah, for um, any other ship, if you had 11 torpedo hits, that would be, you know, probably 100 grand plus, right? <laughs> I had these tiers. Um, so there's, yeah, we didn't get a kill either. 11 torpedo hits from, you know, those volleys and, and don't get a kill. Uh, but yeah, so Bismarck, uh, Bismarck, I think they've got sonar too, don't they? So he, he might have had a little bit of a heads up, right? Um, I think this constellation is what has the radar too, right? So, you know, I get a little overamped when we get, when we do that much uh, right off the bat. So here I am again trying you know, doing things I probably shouldn't do. I'm trying to lock onto that middle ship, that Annault, so we can fire tarps for him. Um, but yeah, I was trying not to, you know, send all four racks at once, right? Like, trying to be a little bit smarter about it, but I just, like, I'm just, like, I got uh, too excited. I was too excited for all that damage we did in the beginning. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll continue to, we kind of scared off that Akatsu, that Akatsuki, right? I, I'm just, I always say the names wrong, right? Um, we're not gonna get anything on this constellation. Give us one. We get that one. There we go. There we go. That's something. That somehow triggered an incapacitation, but not a flood. That is fine. But yeah, you can see that like the flood chances are kind of low for this too. I think so. Out of twelve tor pits, we've only got three floods. But there is probably something to be said if uh, one triggered on one of those other ships. That, um, they may have triggered their damage con as they were getting hit by the you know more torpedoes right but it is what it is right so we will add to this um torpedo valley from our um allied uh destroyer here that's next to us as well so this is kind of nice because we've got you know we do have the one just at least one destroyer over here but we kind of scared them off like i said so um we've kind of got free reign on some of these battleships here and yeah, like I just wasn't, I wasn't doing a good enough job of mixing up who I was shooting at, right? So I'm going to assume that this Bismarck's going to continue his turn and then go, um, you know, head straight north. So I fired a little bit in front of where it was suggesting that I fire, right? And then I sent a bunch at that Annault. Hopefully we get hits on him. Uh, one. <laughs> hey, at least it flooded. Maybe we'll get some flood damage. Looks like he might be bleeding there. And then, yeah, this Bismarck, instead of going north, he turned in towards us. Which may have been because, yes, we get the flood kill on the Annault. But now, so I'm now I'm hugging close to this island to try and not, um, you know, get picked up, you know, get picked on by this Bismarck. He's got crazy secondary battery, right? But now, of course, this constellation's here. 
and he's looking right at us. So I'm going to keep backing up with him in hopes to get this land between us and him so he can't uh, do much to us, right? And we get away. Well, that was a little, we got a little bit lucky there, right? But, um, and then I'm like, well, we can fire some torpedoes up this alleyway, but we've got an allied ship, so I didn't pull the trigger there. Plus the um, constellation got whooped too, right? So now we're like free and clear on this side. I'm kind of excited, like it's gonna be kind of interesting. We're cleaning up battleships on this side and then we're gonna have to deal with, oh, well, there's only two left now, but I was gonna say we're gonna have to deal with destroyers, right? Which like with this ship, I'm gonna say I've had a lot of fun success uh, <laughs> going after destroyers in this thing. Mostly because when it's um you know if it's a if it's a smoke screen centric destroyer right like they'll park it in their smoke screen like even if they've got sonar like as long as I'm not close enough for my ship to get picked up by sonar but like you can just send so many torpedoes into that smoke screen that it's like they just don't have much of a chance and it's such a great feeling right <laughs> with this ship. Um, so you get like a couple of hits on them, you can take them out, right? But like I said, like torpedoes aren't, they're not crazy good damage doers, right? So you do have to get more than one, right? Like whereas, you know, I, you guys know me, I like to play my Shimikaze quite a bit. Where a lot of times you can get a single torpedo hit and kill a destroyer, right? Because of the way we've got that build. Uh, but yeah, so we'll come in. So we've got both destroyers in here, both smoking up. Plus this Kansas coming too, right? So I'm like, I'm, we're gonna divide and conquer here. Plus we've got our reload booster, and then this, uh, the Akatsuki comes out, and I'm like, ah, oh. I was so excited for him to stay in, and then of course, yeah, we block our allies' torpedoes because he was thinking the same thing. Um, so I'm gonna send these right at where the Kansas is, but I know that that other destroyer's in there too, and then yeah, somebody finishes off the Akatsuki, so we don't have to worry about him. We're gonna use the reload booster. There's only these four, there's only four ships left, right? So I'm gonna use that consumable while we still can. And then of course somebody, you know, there was only that one ship for several of our friendly ships to shoot at, right? So like, that's why he went down so quick. But yep, we do get the Benson with two torpedoes. So he is done for now. Now it's a matter of, uh, let's chase down either a cruiser or a battleship, right? Everyone on our team is converging towards the B-hole here so we can cap that zone, right? And then I do see, yeah, so A is getting capped, so their their um, battleship's going into A. So I'm like, all right, he's probably my best bet, but like, I mean, just look at the, <laughs> the ship count here. We've got eight to their two, you know, like it was just, it was a brutal steamrolling here. Um, like you see in, in Legends every once in a while, right? Some people like to say it too, more too often, <laughs> but hey, sometimes we're on the receiving end of this, right? So, um, trying to move in so that we can get a decent angle. We gotta wait for these allied battleships to get past, plus we're not, we're not quite yet reloaded, right? But I'm just I'm gonna send freaking everything, right? Because, like, this game's gonna be over. Like, it's just, there's, yeah. <laughs> Like, he's just, like, he was at full health, and literally everyone here in the B-cap shot at him, right? So, I'm like, you know what? Doesn't matter. Might as well. I'm Though my torps aren't going to make it, might as well get some, some bullet hits, too, right? <laughs> like, something's better than nothing. And it's great, because, like, I could see him, like, directing his fire. Like, he's looking, he looks like he's looking at me now, but, of course, he, you know, he goes down pretty quick, right? And then somebody finishes off the cruiser, and that's going to be game. That was a good, <laughs> that's a good run. That was a good run. Uh, we'll go in, um, you know, we'll we'll see where we end up on the leaderboard, and we'll go in through the commander build for this too, because I think there's a few things to be said about that, because this is kind of a unique ship, but that does put us at the top of the leaderboard there. Look at Just look at the side profile on this ship. It does sit low to the water, right? And I think that that gives it a little bit of an advantage um, there too, right? But yeah, 2400 XP puts us at the top for that game. Um, yeah, I, th I do feel like it's a little bit tougher for uh, like battleships and cruisers to get hits on you, right? But, but, you know, it is what it is. And then we earned a little bit of credits. And we'll check out the Stig. I always just think of Top Gear when I see this guy. The good the good old one, not, not the newer ones, right? Fight me. <laughs> but yeah, we definitely do a, um, a focus on torpedoes with uh, this build, right? Because, well, that's pretty much all it's got going for it, right? <laughs> And so 
speed and reload time here. Um, see detectability. I pick that one over, you know, you could do the other one. I think gives you better destroyer detectability, but gives you um, like a, the like worse of something else, right? So, uh, but yeah, and I go reload time here. That's kind of my preference, but like, you know, you do you, right? I don't like to, I didn't want to sacrifice the range, but you know. And then, uh, yeah, risk of main battery incapacitation and risk of torpedo incapacitation, right, being better. Um, so I picked that just because, well, um, yeah, I thought I'd rather have that, right? <laughs> do have enough to give him one more upgrade point here. And then, yeah, since we are using a normal commander, it's a little bit easier to get the, um, the legendary rank up, right? I think this is a regular guy, right? Something special there. And, of course, um, I'm pretty addicted to Unstoppable for my legendary perk for... Um, destroyers. It's pretty rare that I stray from that. There's some things I've tried out and then gone back to, you know, my happy place that is um, unstoppable, right? <laughs> right? So um, that will be our video on the Jaeger for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching uh, all the way through here. Do make sure to leave me a good old-fashioned like if you enjoy, um, if you're enjoying my content, and then uh, make sure to subscribe too. So we've got quite a few World of Warships Legends videos out there already, and then we're pretty much putting one out at least every day, right? So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.